Let's be honest. When it comes to being underappreciated, undervalued, and often mislabeled, one could argue that bats top the list. But here at Hubbard Elementary in Forsyth, Georgia, bats are held in high regard, treated as equals, part of the family, so to speak. And now, thanks to a $1,000 grant from the Department of Natural Resources, they have a place to call home. You see, every year, students in Dr. Kimberly Harris's third grade gifted class take on a project that focuses on one of the state's endangered species. This time around, there was some discussion about the red cockaded woodpecker. But in the end, it was decided, bats it is. Well, at first, I thought, like, they're disgusting. They're not. The only thing about them that was good was that they eat our insects so that we can like plant flowers and stuff like that. But now that I've learned more about them, I know that they're good to our environment. The more we researched, the kids just kept on saying, we should do bats, we should do bats. And at first I was shocked because, you know, in popular culture, bats are not really thought of highly and these are small children. So I was like, are you sure you want to do bats? Yeah, we think they get a bad rap. Disney's got it all wrong. And based on our research, they're really nice and they help the environment in so many ways and we should help them. And then the kicker for us was we realized that they are critically endangered in the state of Georgia because of white nose syndrome. So once our kids figured that out, they were just like, we are doing the bats. White nose syndrome. Simply put, its effects have been catastrophic for the bat population as a whole. It's a fungus that grows on bats exposed skin, making it difficult for them to hibernate. In most cases, the infected bat leaves the cave in search of food, wasting stored energy in the process and eventually dying from exhaustion while looking for insects that aren't around during that particular time of year. Knowing this from their research, students at Hubbard Elementary made it a priority to get their bat habitats correct from the onset. We started contacting biologists at the Georgia DNR. We worked with the protect Protect to Connect, and I might be saying that wrong, I always flip, it might be Connect to Protect, but it's out of UGA there, but botanists there to talk about the kind of plants that would attract the bats. So I really was able to get the assistance of several agencies to make sure that when we do get our habitat constructed that it would be successful. I liked when we were measuring how far it was from the trees, because it has to be 20, 20 to 30 feet away from trees. We started painting in late November, I want to say, because that's when the bat boxes were delivered to us. Well, before we started painting, we had to assemble. We bought one that was pre-assembled just so the children would have a point of reference, but then we also did research to assemble the other one, and that was quite interesting, putting power tools in the hands of my children because they had to do all the drilling, the caulking, and that was a big moment as a teacher of letting go and letting them do the work. I realized that they were capable and I just had to trust that they would not. <laughs> and we taught them all the proper precautions, you know. They had all the safety equipment. We did several lessons just on wood of how to hoe, how to drill, what to do. Yes, a little test of the nerves to say the least, but as Dr. Harris explains, the lessons these children are learning now are lessons they'll carry throughout their elementary years and hopefully into adulthood. I'm very fortunate to be at Hubbard Elementary because we have administration and our county that believe in the power of children and that's what I see it as is these children are capable and they've been showing us interest in these types of experiments because it's project-based learning. We find issues in our community that we want to address and we spend the entire year teaching through units that address that. In Forsyth, Georgia, I'm Ray Delesio for the Farm Monitor.